The terms web design and web development are often incorrectly used interchangeably. So you don't want to refer to yourself as the wrong one because that would just kind of make you look dumb. Or if you want to get in the industry, you want to decide what's the correct thing to be learning. So in this video, I'm going to set the record straight and give you my interpretation, the modern interpretation of what each one means. And I'm going to offer at the end a different way to look at the two because I don't look at myself as a web designer or a web developer. Even though I do both, I think there's a new term to describe what I do. So the confusion between these two terms is more recent because back in the day, if you were a web designer or web developer, they were two distinct roles. But as time has gone on, the two have gotten closer together, they've overlapped, and now you don't even need to have web development to create a website. So it used to be that the web designer would solely focus on creating what the web page would look like, but not in a web development software. They would do it in like Adobe or some other like Figma or whatever to create what the design would look like. And then they would hand it off to the developer and the developer would say, okay, I'm going to translate this document, basically an image, and I'm going to build it out in website language so that it works in a web browser. And they would do this by writing HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to take care of the front end and then some sort of back end language. But nowadays we have these amazing website builders where you can do all of the web development without actually being a web developer. So let's go over two different lists of what I think a web designer is and what I feel that a web developer is. And if you're doing these tasks, then you can figure out if you are a web designer, web developer, or both. And so to summarize the web designer tasks, they're either creating the design in a design software or they're implementing or creating it within a website page builder. And then they're doing all of the design elements within those. So the colors, the topography, and all of that. Now, a web developer focuses more on the technical tasks. So if you're writing HTML, CSS, JavaScript, any backend languages like PHP or front-end libraries uh, like React, then you're going to be a web developer. I would also say that if you're a web developer, if you're doing more complex CMS data modeling, so different than just like adding a title and a body to like a blog post, but maybe creating relational data that intertwines different collections together. Now, if you're working with just a straight up database and you're intertwining that with your web development platform, then that is also a task a web developer would do. Along with working with APIs, doing any server configuration, debugging and troubleshooting. And another one I would throw in there is implementing a class structure even if you aren't doing it within HTML. So web developers use classes and IDs um, and data attributes when they're coding out in HTML. However, with no code platforms like Webflow, I think that if you're implementing a class system in there, I would consider that web development. It's a bit more technical. It's a bit more structured. It's not really a design thing, although it enables design. So to recap, you can build a fully functional, beautiful website without being a web developer at all, especially with new platforms like Framer out there. They are in a designer's UI. They let designers work how they've always designed and you're able to publish the website in them. So you don't even need web developers unless if you need some of these more technical tasks or you're working with platforms that aren't so design friendly and they're a little bit more development oriented. All right, so let's talk about the new term. What do I call myself? What are you potentially? Potentially or what potentially do you want to become if it's not web design or web development? And I created this term because I'm doing web design, I'm doing web development, but those two aren't the only necessary pieces to create a website. You're also likely doing SEO, I'm doing copywriting, I'm conversion optimizing the website, and I work with a lot of different website page builders and website platforms, which I think is an important role for me because I get to choose the best website platform for the job. And the term I'm using to encapsulate all of this is website creator. I think it properly encapsulates everything and it's saying I'm creating the website. It's not saying I'm designing it or I'm developing it or I'm writing the content for it. It's really an all-encompassing term that really accurately describes what I do. Unfortunately, nobody's really searching for website creator, so it doesn't really help to rank for that. However, I would consider myself a website creator. And there you have it. That is my interpretation of the modern way that web design or web development is done. See ya.